It was the Roaring Twenties with flappers and prohibition in a moral tug of war when the Broadview Hotel was built in 1921, hosting some of Wichita's most famous guests, from Charles Lindbergh to Al Capone. But even under the classiest circumstances, public decorum often turned to private debauchery. Underneath is a speakeasy. Right under here. Right underneath. With the hotel sales manager dressing the part, we explore a hidden labyrinth. And we actually found old liquor bottles underneath there <laughs> that date way back to with the little tax certificates around the top there. And underneath here, there would be gambling, drinking. More stairs lead to more secrets and even bigger party room. All of this, all of this would seat 600. Prominent men escaping the law and their wives. But that's just the beginning. If you have a look, that supposedly was a tunnel that led to the river. That's right, a short tunnel sneaking to the bridge over the Arkansas River and into the Delano District, not always so respected. There were uh, saloons, there were bars, there were naughty places. Brothels. Right, yes. <laughs> The women and the booze would all come across the river and come to our hotel via either scurrying down the steps into the speakeasy or through the tunnel. Another tunnel ran under Douglas to the ritzy Forum nightclub where Century 2 now stands. The hotel barber smuggled in the liquor. And he was called the runner. He had, he had the booze bottles. And uh, without fail every day, the police would be waiting for him. And, but he did the same again the next day and the next and the they next. They wouldn't arrest him? No. With police turning a blind eye, it was all going according to plan by none other than the owner of the Broadview, George Seedoff I. He was in construction and he was also an alcoholic. So intent on skirting prohibition, Seedoff created an elaborate underground maze that eight decades later, the hotel staff is still trying to unravel from what they call the Al Capone room. But you can only imagine yeah. what went on in there. To another sealed off exit. I mean, it is possible of another tunnel. It certainly goes directly through. She says both tunnels they do know about were blocked off years ago when the city cracked down on crime in the Delano district. Now history buffs and visitors to the Broadview can only dream what other secrets may still lie below its regal facade.